Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Diamond Jones if you're new here and today we have a new video all about how to get a job as a teen. So over the summer I have gotten a job. Um, I'm not gonna say where I work though. If you know, you know. But yeah, I've been thinking about doing this video for a while. I had it planned for summer, and so when I finally got one, I was like, oh, I should probably talk about it. Anyways, I thought this could be helpful if you're looking for um, a job as a teen or just don't know where to get started. So yeah, let's get into this video. But before we do that, reminder to share this video with a friend. This new school year is coming up, so in the future, I may not be posting as much, um, but I still think that it should be fun. So definitely follow and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know what you think after the video and follow us on Instagram at DiamondJonesYT and also follow my podcast at Tea Time with Teens and share and like this video. Okay, I think that's like everything out of the way. So we're gonna get into the first couple of steps. So let me check how many steps I have. Okay, so I have like about four steps and then like extra information. So the first one, number one, is to pick a service industry thingy. This is kind of a random one. It's not even really that big of one, but basically determining like when you're a teen, there's only like so many job service industries you can get into is like either fast food it's retail or maybe being like not an accountant like a desk person sort of thing if you can find those like animal shelters and stuff like that but things like that i personally went with food service or fast food because i don't like the experience of shopping i don't feel like being in a store for that long and you know if it's a food service at least you get free food so think about the benefits before you choose one but you know i would recommend it if you want free food so number two is to research jobs so you can do this by going on like anywhere and looking up like jobs for teens near me but i personally just looked up indeed um which is a website um for job scouting i guess you could say so they usually post like a lot of stuff on there and if you want like a specific job for a specific company then you can probably just look up that company and then um pick your area and they'll show like all the jobs available at the local store near you and so you can also do it that way as well if you don't find it on indeed or any other kind of platform and you know whenever in doubt just like go ahead and call whatever company that you want to work for and see if there are any positions available so that's the biggest thing is to research jobs and also weigh like the benefits like the pros and the cons so one place may pay a lot of money but maybe it's further away and with gas prices it doesn't make sense to do that and then other ones may be like maybe it's it pays more but it won't work with your hours as better and stuff like that i know i'm just using kind of the same example but it's like sometimes the money isn't worth it if it's super inconvenient and it's going to end up costing you more in the long run so definitely think about that and also it may just be a job that you don't want to do so don't take something just for the money because you'll get burnt out really quickly and go down for like a lower job so yeah just keep that in mind when you are researching those jobs number three is to create a resume or a cover letter so for the resume thing the biggest thing is that you can definitely just look up a template online line and literally just use like a word template and look up kind of what people are putting online ask your parents to help you that's basically all I did um, maybe I'll like put an example up here somewhere or up there but you could do that and then they may ask you for like a cover letter which I don't know how you would explain it it's kind of similar to a resume but you know ask your parents about that kind of stuff because I did this like a couple months ago but ultimately it's nothing really scary I mean if it's basic like a basic um, entry-level job for like teens they're gonna know that your stuff isn't gonna look perfect but basically just some tips to put on your resume is things that you're a part of in school so it can be clubs it can be volunteer work it can be special positions that you've held or leadership positions and different things like that um, even like concession working and stuff if you put like that sort of stuff on your resume then it'll definitely give you like a leg up because they like seeing people who are engaged and are really informed about their strengths and also like sometimes their weaknesses as well so definitely go with that on your resume and like your cover letter and just like basically brag on yourself is all they want to see that i've seen so just brag on yourself number four is to actually apply so you're going to apply with your resume and possibly your cover letter if they require that some places may not even require you to have one they may just ask you but the biggest thing is that you're going to apply so you're going to do that online it shouldn't take super duper long but some stuff i did not recognize so i just went ahead and asked my parents because i was like i don't know if this means but usually if you are a teen they'll like forgive you if like something was wrong or anything like that like they're not super stoked on everything being perfect they just want to see that you're passionate about it and that you apply so definitely go ahead and do that and when you apply yeah of course like give them like a couple days but like if it's been like not even a week if it's been like more than three days or like five days 
go ahead and call them up um, like your store and act like hey I put in an application have y'all received it yet because for my um, instance I applied originally to this job when I was 15 I was almost 16 but I applied online and I didn't want to lie so I put um, I was under 16 there's usually like an option of under 16 or under 18 so I put under 16 and so simply they did not get my application because it automatically rejects it when it's under 16 and they need to know that you are of age and don't lie on it because they're gonna ask you about it later so definitely don't lie on that kind of stuff which obviously I didn't but you know a week later I did the same thing I just reapplied it was super simple and then I got my job so yeah so just Keep that in mind when you're applying for stuff like that and make sure to always call them up and at different times of the day because it took me like a couple attempts to actually get someone to answer and get connected with a manager but definitely do it it's worth it it's worth it call at different times of the day whenever they call you back try to call them back that way it's all coordinated and stuff but you know never give up with that so this one isn't really so much well it's not like a part of the steps like we're already part of the steps but this is like basically like interview questions because i know like a lot of people are nervous about that kind of stuff honestly with interview questions they're super baseline they're super they're super simple it's like your first job they're gonna probably ask you about your strengths your what things you can probably do better on and let me see i think i wrote some of them down like some of the questions that they asked me oh uh, they may ask you like why you like the company or why you want to work with the company why you applied for the job they might ask you why you would be a good fit for the job is one that i got and then also just general information and they did not ask me about my schedule that will tie into some things that you should probably ask but for the interview honestly don't stress about it it's just general information about yourself and just basically say what you said on your resume and then just like add a little flair to it and they'll definitely definitely accept it if you have a good sort of presence so i wouldn't stress about that because they're not as scary as they seem i think <laughs> so along with like the interview questions the things that they will usually ask you again they'll ask you do you have any questions for me and usually people are like no but like i've always heard that people are supposed to say yes like i do have a question for you and i had a few questions this was like the notebook i took with me to my interview so i could write down any like important information and so i think i wrote down some of the questions i had for them and like there's a ton of questions i would have added so definitely keep this in mind what would your employee say is the best thing about your job so why do people actually like working here are there any part-time benefits so full-time that's where you get all the benefits part-time you don't usually get that much stuff and then also ask about the approximate starting pay because i did not ask this because i thought it was rude but then my mom said i could ask um so i should know like how much i get paid and like when i'll get paid so you should know if like they don't already state it on the application so now onto like the stuff that i wanted to ask but i just never did but i realized i should have asked do we get like any vacation time what's the schedule and stuff like that like how is this going to fit with my schedule am i able to take days off i would ask about the schedule i would ask about the uniforms so like when you would get your shirts and stuff like that also about like if you're short or you're not as strong definitely ask about um the actual tasks that you're going to be doing like look around be like is there specific things i would be doing here um because some of the stuff i'm pretty short and like later they did um show me that there is like a step ladder and stuff like that but i'm also not i'm not as strong as others obviously because i'm pretty young so like there's certain things i may need help with or i may not be able to do so definitely asking about that as well is something that's super important if you're a bit shorter oh kind of about training as well you want to know if they have like a good training program how they're going to train you when they're going to train you and if you get paid during that time as well as like a good question to ask so i would definitely ask about the training as well because that's going to really influence how you feel about the job and how smoothly the first week or so goes over which is what we're going to get into in a second is your first day or like your first week or you know the beginning i guess you could say it wasn't as scary as i thought it was going to be like genuinely going into it but i realized that my back is not meant to stand for a long time and it's gotten used to it obviously but you know if you're going to be in like a retail job or fast food or anything you're going to be standing a lot if it's not a desk job expect to stand for hours obviously so it was definitely like a shocker there first week i was like <laughs> but over time i really do like my job i like getting to talk to people and making their day better and being like i like your shirt or like i like your card and stuff like that it was super scary in the beginning and i cried um but afterwards you get used to it um not the crying part but you get more comfortable with your job and you know what to do um and so it gets like a lot better so also if you are replying to be like a cashier i'll just mention this 
don't be scared of like money or whatever because the machine will show you how to do it like if you're afraid to apply for a cashier position because you're afraid that you don't know how to count money then don't worry about it the system will literally tell you for tell it for you and also don't be afraid of the menu and stuff like that you may not know it which is also a tip choose a place that you go to a lot or that you're comfortable with because it'll probably be an easier transition but I mean, that's basically it. I think that's all, honestly it for this video because I haven't done a video in like a long time. But this is actually really fun. Um, I do like my job and I'm really proud that I have it. And also, I finally got paid, so like that's like exciting. Looking for like a really good experience and something fun to do in your free time. Definitely go ahead and take a shot and get you a job as a teen. It is super fun. You'll get to meet a lot of new people, new environment. You'll be introduced to the world in a new way. It's surprising how much you can have like a greater faith in humanity by just working in these kind of positions. This is because like some lady said something really sweet the other day. But yeah, it's still like a really great job. And yeah, I think that's going to be the end for this video. So if you made it to the end of this really long and weird video, definitely subscribe. I may not be posting as much because of the new school year. As I said, I'll try to do like occasional vlogging. But if not, check out my podcast if you want to. It's just because I have a lot of stuff with school coming up that I may not be posting as often. But if you follow me on Instagram, I'll probably update you on it. So definitely follow us on there. I hope you have a great day and a great week and a great school year. So I'll talk to you later and stay blessed and bye.